So it's uh, uh, good to be here in Cape Breton today. Uh, opportunity to meet with uh, uh, folks who have been really hard hit by Fiona. Um, we, uh, uh, we've seen both the resilience and the strength, but we've also seen some pretty serious devastation as, as people have come together, uh, lost roofs, uh, lost homes, uh, folks living in their garages. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the strength of Canadians coming together to be there for each other is evident in, uh, in everything we see. Um, Cape Bretoners, like all Canadians, know how to deal with, uh, uh, with weather and know how to pull together as a community during tough times, and that's certainly what we're seeing. A uh, great example of that is what we see here at the, at the Coast Guard College, where uh, cadets and the community has really have really stepped up uh, to, to offer support, uh, to be there as a uh, welcome centre and warming centre to, to be able to give people a little relief, uh, charge, their, uh, charge their phones and, and, uh, and sit back a little bit. Um, this is the best of Canada as we pull together, as we're there for each other. Uh, the federal government continues to step up. We're in close contact with uh, provincial authorities. Uh, we will be there, uh, as we always are, with significant funding to help get through both these difficult days right now, but the weeks and months of rebuilding ahead. Uh, Canadians have also been incredibly generous. We've seen over $5 million donated through the Red Cross already, uh, money that we'll be matching. Uh, so that's already over $10 million with more to come because we know, uh, we know there's lots more to do. Uh, 